What's up guys, Mary Thomas Spook here, and uh, I just want to show you something really quick guys. I'm going to be doing some more videos, like a bunch here coming up. Got some cool stuff coming from trade, got some other cool stuff going on and uh, in the next month or so. But right now, I, I got a couple new knives in. I want to show you one really cool because I really love it. And uh, there's like a buck standing right behind me here too guys. So I'll do it as quickly as I can and I'll try to get a picture of the deer because <laughs> there's a buck like right behind me. Um, anyway, guys, the knife that I'm going to want to talk about here is the Boker uh, Koi Ridgeback. I've got it on a horizontal sheath. It's an awesome little fixed blade knife, guys. Um, I'll be doing more and more videos of it. This is sort of just the initial video, but, uh, and pardon the cars going by. We're in, like, a spot that we like to come and sit, and a lot of other people like to come sit here, too, as well. So, but, uh, very, very cool little knife by Boker. Um, 100% designed. Uh, by Bill Coy, as you can see the Coy knives there from Oklahoma. Bill is a combat medic and I mean he just really knows his stuff and uh, very very well traveled and really very well you know just really cool guy with some cool designs. You've got your uh, green OD G10 and uh, G10 backspacer liners here. Um, it's 440C steel. Um, if you get an, uh, a custom Coy from Coy um, It'll be like N690, I believe, and he has like uh, one CPM 154, and he's like kind of better steels, but 440C is a good steel, and that's the first one that he started out with. Um, I've got extra large glove hands, guys, and I can get my pinky wrapped at the bottom, so if ergos on it are beautiful for a little knife like this, and that's the problem with a lot of fixed blades that are small is they're just too small to really carry, but this one's an awesome carry size. I just really like it, so some good jimping on the top and of course it's full tang and just really well constructed the sheath here if you can see it I've got it on my 511, uh, 511 tactical belt and uh, it just slides right in kydex right there all right I missed it either slides in clips in good retention you got a clip on there for your belt and uh, away you go so anyway guys I uh, just just going to do that quick video and show you but right over here behind me there's, uh, I don't know if the buck walked off, but we've got a bunch of deer, and uh, there's a bunch behind me, and these guys are here all the time, and they don't really let stuff bother them, the cars and stuff like that, they kind of just do their thing. Uh, a couple minutes ago, there's actually a buck over there getting tree apples out of the tree, so it's really cool. I just want to show you that, so there's some deer, and here's the, uh, here we go. Here we go. little spiky horn there and uh, here's the Koi Boker Ridgeback there'll be more videos to come of this guys awesome little EDC slash you know sort of you know your backup last ditch thing so really cool anyway guys it's Maritime Spook signing out and uh, keep your stick on it